We have this part of that interview you just mentioned uh, where he has an other go at conservatives. Uh, this is about uh, his interview, of course, with CBS, and, and uh, he was asked about opposition that he's receiving from uh, conservative Catholics uh, in the United States and also conservative prelates in the United States. Let's have a listen to that. There are conservative bishops in the United States that oppose your new efforts to revisit teachings and traditions. How do you address their criticism? You used an adjective, conservative. That is, conservative is one who clings to something and does not want to see beyond that. It is a suicidal attitude. Because one thing is to take tradition into account, to consider situations from the past. But quite another is to be closed up inside a dogmatic box. Okay. So, as far as anyone ever understood about the faith, is that uh, the dogma is set by our Lord Jesus Christ, by his holy apostles, and uh, within the bounds of the dogma, there's all sorts of room to play. And that's why there's such great freedom inside the church to debate questions that are not dogmatic, uh, not dogmatically defined. So this statement from the Pope is very confusing indeed, that we shouldn't be in some kind of dogmatic box. But I wanted to hear your take on that, Father. Yeah, well... Um... <laughs> The conservatives are, we're, we're, we're what, what, what is the term that he used? Uh, we're yeah, holding on to a Yes, that, that too, but also the yeah, we're we're so bad, We know we're suicidal, of course. But, but, but what do we do? We're holding on to things. That, you know, what kills me is the relationship that I had with Monsignor Mario Marini, who was uh, secretary of the uh, uh, Congregation for Worship and worked in the Vatican all of his life. He and Bergoglio became very good friends. We've had this talk before, and we had a talk on it on the program, too. Bergoglio presented himself to Marini, who was very well connected with any number of cardinals, especially in the Roman Curia, but all over the world. And he was responsible, in fact, for having some of them named to the places they were, they were, uh, they were, they were named. He told Mario Marini, Point blank, I heard it from Marini and, I, and another priest was with me. We just talked about this uh, a few months back about that conversation. He said that he himself was a conservative. Mm. He himself was a conservative trying to reestablish the society of, G of Jesus. I almost said the society of Judas. I'm sorry, that was the title of one of my books. Uh, I, I, I slip every once in a while. But the, the society of Jesus, uh, and he wanted to re he wanted to reestablish it. And uh, uh, he was very, uh, very, uh, very worried about the future of the church because things were not on the straight and narrow as they should be. Now, when I listen to him right now, this is exactly the opposite of everything he told Marini. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and not just Marini, he told this to other people too. When, when in fact, this is, this is right after the 2005 election, he seemed to be vying for place in, a, in an upcoming election. He knew that he was a candidate in 2005. He was a serious candidate. As a matter of fact, uh, were it not for, for Ratzinger, he would have won, I believe. Uh, uh, so he was, but this is what he told people, that he was conservative, that dogmas never change, that the doctrine of the church never change. This doesn't change, that doesn't change. And all of a sudden he's Pope and all of that is now, he no longer holds to that anymore. Uh, it, it's just too much. I don't know. I, you know, I, I feel ashamed as a Catholic to say that that I'm 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 not excited any longer by by uh, by the opinion of the Holy Father. Uh, we used to anything that the Holy Father would say would write and say uh, that would come out of Rome. We listened to very carefully, analyzed, discussed, and we're 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 looking we're, and lived in anticipation of his opinion on matters. This is this is no longer the case. I just I don't know how to, I don't know how to take him, and uh, I, I'm I'm just telling you this, and this, with this I'll end on that topic. Uh, interest in his opinion has waned. Uh, 